What's going on guys? Mitin Kaka here and I am your HRX coach for today. For today's workout, I'm going to be taking you through an entire upper body workout for which I'll be using a pair of dumbbells and the home gym combo from HRX. So before we get started with this workout, let's make sure that we get warmed up so that there is blood flowing to your muscle and your joints are warm so that you can avoid injuries. So to do the warm up, you can follow along these exercises wherein you do 10 repetitions of your shoulder rotations where you make sure your elbows come all the way in then they go all the way up and out and down and you repeat this for 10 counts take it nice and slow and feel the burn in your shoulders don't be in a rush to complete this exercise and once you're done with 10 reps, you reverse the movement and again you make sure that your elbows are going wide out all the way to the top, all the way in and then back down. So just imagine you're making a big O using your elbows. Okay, so this is for your shoulders. Another thing that you can do to warm up your shoulders is simply your rotator cuff exercise where your elbows are kept at a 90 degree angle and from here you simply push your wrists out while keeping your elbows stable. So your elbows are not moving, your elbows are in one direction and try to move the ball inside the socket of your shoulder and you do about 10 to 15 counts. Next up is your shoulder rotations in the vertical direction where again you're making sure that your elbows are not moving up and down. Keep it nice and slow, feel the burn in your shoulders and do about 10 to 15 reps. These were the three warm-up exercises that you need to do at least two or three times before we get started with the main workout. So with your upper body all nice and warmed up, let's get started with today's workout. The first exercise that we're going to do today is the barbell floor press. For this exercise, I'm going to need the home gym combo from HRX. I've loaded the bar with a couple of plates and you simply grab hold the bar, bring it up above your chest height. From here, you drop your traps, pinch your shoulder blades together, keep your chest out and simply lower the weight down till your elbows touch the floor and from here you push your elbows back up and you squeeze your chest muscles now you gotta make sure that your elbows are not running too wide i don't want this to happen keep your elbows slightly closer to the body and from there you push up squeeze your chest contract them hard before you come back down the elbows touch the floor and then you go back up once again all right, everyone in position. We do three sets of this exercise, about 12 reps in each set. Everyone together, let's get started. Position in three, two, one, and from the top, let's go. Extend and squeeze. One, two. Make sure you make, feel your chest do the work. Three. Four, squeeze hard, five, six, seven, eight, last four, come on guys, nine, all the way up, ten, last two, extend, eleven, one more, and twelve. So that was the end of first set. Let's rest for about 60 seconds and then we get started with two more such sets.
Okay, everyone, let's get back into position. Let's do the set number two. Grab hold of the bar, get into position. Make sure the bar is right above your chest, not above your stomach, not above your head. It's above your chest. From here, drop your traps, pinch your shoulder blades together, puff your chest out. Make sure elbows are kept closer to the body. And then let's go down and push and squeeze. Two, easy, controlled, three. Control on the way down and push four. Nice one, guys. Come on, keep going. Up five. Easy. Six, halfway there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last three. Ten. Come on, push it, guys. Last two. Up one more. And 12. Put the bar back down. Let's rest for about 60 seconds. Make sure you have some water. Don't stay in one position. Keep walking around and let's burn some more calories. So that's two sets in guys, my hands are already very sweaty, if your hands are sweaty as well, make sure you grab a towel and dry them before you grab the weight, otherwise you can use the HRX home gym combo, the bar comes with an anti-slip grip which helps you to grab hold of the bar even with sweaty hands. So ready everyone in position, grab the bar, get it above your chest, drop your taps, pinch your shoulder blades together, chest out and three. Two, one, let's go. Control on the way down, keep your elbows close to body. Push. Two. Three. Four. Make sure you squeeze and contract your chest muscles. Five. Six. Seven, come on guys, push it. Eight, controlled movement, keep the rhythm. Nine, touch the floor and ten, last two. Stable, eleven, one more, come on guys. And up, twelve. So that's the end of first exercise guys, good job of coming so far. Let's get on to the second exercise. While you guys are getting rested, I'm going to show you guys the form for the next exercise, which is your dumbbell floor flies. For this exercise, I'm going to grab hold of a pair of the hex dumbbells from HRX. I'm using 5 kgs. Make sure you hold a pair of dumbbells with weight that you are comfortable using. So with this exercise, you simply grab hold of the dumbbells, lie down on the floor once again. From here, make sure you keep the basics, which is drop your traps, pinch your shoulder blades together, Keep that chest out, from here keep your legs straight, feet straight, get the dumbbell right above your chest, at the starting they are touching each other but from here you simply take the dumbbells out, get a good stretch in your chest muscles, let your elbows touch the floor, don't let it rest, just touch the floor and from there you simply squeeze back up. And when you squeeze back up, you're not touching the dumbbells to each other once again. You are keeping it right above your shoulders. Alright, so control on the way out. Take about 2 seconds. Touch the elbow and back in. Cool, so that's the exercise we're going to do. The second exercise for the day, dumbbell floor. Flies, everyone in position. 
Let's get started in three, two, one. Let's go, starting off with touching the dumbbells and from here, go out, touch the floor and squeeze in. Two, let's aim for about 12 to 15 reps. Three, four, remember to keep it above your shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, Go out slow, come back in fast and stop. Nine, ten, five more, easy. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, control, fourteen, last one, and fifteen. So that was the end of set number one for this exercise, dumbbell floor flies. Let's rest for about 60 seconds. Make sure you drink lots of water, stay hydrated, keep walking around, burn some more calories and we resume for the second set of the same exercise. So before we get started with the second set, I'm going to give you a tip wherein with this exercise, when you are going out, you get a good stretch in your chest muscles and when you come in is the act of acceleration and deceleration. So when you're coming in, you're accelerating and then you're decelerating. That entire motion is what is pumping the blood into the muscle, making your muscle fibers do the work and helping it grow. So focus on that when you're doing this exercise. Ready? Everyone, let's get started with the second set. In position, legs straight out, dumbbells together, drop your traps. Ready? In three, two, one, and let's go. Out, focus, accelerate, stop. Two. Three, good rhythm. Four, control on the way out. And squeeze. Six, seven, come on guys, eight, let's do it, nine, keep pushing, ten, eleven, twelve, keep your chest under tension, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Set number two down, rest for 60 seconds and while you are resting, I'm going to give you another tip with this exercise. So remember when I told you that when you're starting off, you go wide and when you come back in, you stop right above your shoulders. The reason why you're doing that is when you're stopping right above your shoulders, you can keep your chest under tension. The moment you bring your dumbbells together, the tension in your chest is gone. You don't want that. You go out, you come back in, stop here, keep that tension, feel it and then go back out, come back in, feel this tension. What this does is, it helps you increase the total time under tension that your muscle is staying, thereby helping you grow the muscle. Okay, so let's get started with the third set of the second exercise. Everyone in position, remember the basics. Remember the tip that I just shared, keep that chest on the tension throughout. Everyone, together in three, two, one. Go out, get a good stretch. 
and keep it tensed. Two, three, four, feel that. Five, make sure your chest is doing the work. Six, seven, eight, nine, squeeze, ten, come on guys, last five, easy. 11, 12, control of the way out, focus on the acceleration, stop, keep the chest under tension, last two, one more, come on guys, push it, and back in. So that was the end of your second exercise for the day. With that, we are done with chest. We move on to shoulders, which is the next exercise. Let's rest for about 60 seconds and let's get started with shoulders next. So that's your chest workout done. Now we move on to your shoulders, which is the third exercise for the day. And for this exercise, I will need a pair of dumbbells, which I'm gonna get. So for this third exercise, you grab hold of a pair of dumbbells and you're gonna perform your overhead presses, but this time with a slight twist. So normally you would do your overhead presses where your elbows are wide open and then you press the weight up. But before you press the weight up, I'm gonna add four pulses on every rep. So one, two, three, four, and up, back down, one, two, three, four, and up. So this is the exercise we are gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna to ask you guys to grab hold of your dumbbells and follow along as we do the first set of this exercise. We do 10 reps, remember, every four pulse, and then you go up, that's equal to one rep. All right, so are you guys ready? Let's get started. Everyone in position, together, we go, follow my count, let's go, one, two, three, four, and up. Come back down slow, one, two, three, four, and push. One, two, three, four, and push. That's three, one, two, three, four, and up. Come back down slow, one, two, three, four, and five. Halfway there guys, come on, it's easy. One, two, three, four, and up. One, two, three, four, and seven. Come on guys, keep pushing. One, two, three, four, and eight. Last two, hang in there. One, two, three, four, and up. And last one, two, three, four, and push. Hold it, and slowly lower back down. So you're gonna rest for about 60 seconds and get along with the second set of this exercise.
All right then, let's go with the second set. Everyone in position, together, follow my count. One, two, three, four, and up. And come back down slow. One, two, three, four, and up. One, two, three, four, push. One, two, three, four. Come on guys, push it. One, two, three, four, and that's five. One, two, three, four, and up. One, two, three, four. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, up. Last two. Come on, guys. One, two, three, four, up. Come on, easy. Last rep. You got this. One, two, three, four, and up. And up. So we rest for about 60 seconds, have some water during this break and then I'll see you guys once again. Do you guys feel the burn in your shoulders already? That's nice, amazing. That's the exact job of this exercise. Do not give up, do not cut down on your reps, do not cut down on the form. And let's get started with the final set. Everyone in position, let's go. One, two, three, four, and one. One, two, three, four, and two. One, two, three, four, and three. One, two, three, four, and four. One, two, three, four, push it. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, seven. Come on guys, last three reps of this exercise. Three and five. One, two, three, four, and last one. One, two, three, four. Hold it, hold it. And three, two, one. And relax. Nice one, guys. Good job. Superb. So that's the end of this exercise. We rest for about 60 seconds and then get ready for the next exercise, which is your lateral raises. See you guys. So guys, that's your overhead presses done. We move on to the second exercises for the shoulders. It's called the lateral raises. And while you guys are getting rested, I'm gonna quickly run you through the form. So basically this exercise is for the roundness of your shoulder. And in order to get this roundness, it's important to do this exercise accurately. How you would do that is basically grab hold of the dumbbells and from here, you simply push your elbows outwards and come back in. So when you're pushing your elbows outwards, make sure your wrists do not go above your elbow height. This is not what you want. You want to keep your elbows up at all the times and come back down. You push out, hold the squeeze and then back down. All right, is everyone ready? Let's grab hold of your dumbbells. We do three sets of 10 to 12 reps in each set. Ready? In three, two, one, and let's go. One, and slowly come down. Follow the tempo. One, and slowly come down. Up, that's three. Easy, four. Remember to squeeze the lateral deltoid muscle, which is the side shoulder muscle. Five, six, slow controlled movement. Do not be in a rush. Seven, follow my count. Eight, easy, push it. Nine, let's do three more. 10, 
11, one more. And 12. That's the end of round one. We rest for about 60 seconds and then we go with round two once again. Alright guys, let's get started with the set number 2. Grab hold of your dumbbells and everyone follow my lead. Let's do 10 to 12 reps. 1 and down. 2, hold and down. Up, squeeze hard and down. 4, remember to hold that squeeze for a split second. 5, easy, halfway there. Come on, up. 7, push. 8, 9, 10, last two, 11, one more, and 12. Lovely, nice one guys, let's rest for 60 seconds and go once again for the final set of this exercise. Alright guys, last set for this exercise. Everyone's pumped up, ready in 3, 2, 1 and up and down. Slow controlled movement. Easy guys, come on, push it. Up, 4, up, 5, halfway there, 6, come on, 7, last 3, push it, 8, 2 more, 9, 1 more, come on. Hold it in three, two, one, and down. Good job, guys. Give a big tap on your back. We are done with shoulders workout. We move on to the next exercise, which is for your triceps. And grab a stool for this exercise. Okay, guys. So that's four exercises in. This is the last exercise for the day. Let's give it all we got. This last exercise is called your tricep dips. For that, you need a stool. You can use a chair. You can use your bed. Anything which is at an elevation where you have to sit down, keep your hands underneath you. From here, you take a step forward, keep your hips close to the bench or to the stool, keep your shoulders tucked back and from here, you simply go down till your shoulders reach your elbow height and from here, you push your palms into the bench, into the stool and push yourself back up. It's a very simple exercise. You go down till your shoulders reach your elbow height and from here, you push up. If you find this exercise to be too easy, you can make it more challenging for yourself by taking a step out using your foot, keeping your knees straight, and then from here, you go down, keep your hips close to the stool, and push your palms into the floor as you come up. Now when you go down, you get a good stretch in your triceps, and then when you come up, you squeeze your triceps. All right, so we're gonna do Three sets of this exercise, 12 to 15 reps in each set. Ready? Let's get started in three, two, one, and let's go. Follow my count, 
Go down and squeeze up. One. Go down slow and squeeze up. Two. Make sure you keep your shoulders tucked back. Keep your elbows pointing behind. Don't let your elbows go too wide. Go down and squeeze up. That's four. Five. Six. Squeeze your triceps. Seven. Easy. Eight. Come on, seven more. Nine. Ten. When you go down, don't let gravity take over. Control the movement. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Last two. Come on, guys. Push it. Fourteen. One more. And relax. That's your first set down. We rest for about 60 seconds. Keep walking around, have some water, and then we'll get started with the last two sets of this exercise. Alright guys, that's the end of your rest. Let's get started with the second set of this exercise. Everyone in position and let's go. One, go down slow and push and squeeze. Four, easy. Five, no half reps. All the way down, all the way up. Six, seven, remember to push your palms inside when you come up. Eight. 9, squeeze, 10, last 5, come on, 11, 12, 3 more, 2 more, 1 more guys, come on, push it, and up. So that was the end of second set, let's rest for about 60 seconds and get started with the final set, final exercise, let's go guys. Alright guys, last set, best set. Let's give it all you got. Come on, all your energies. And this is the end of today. Let's go in three, two, one, and go down, up. Two, three, four, control, five. Remember to squeeze and contract your triceps. Eight. Last four, nine, ten. Two more reps, guys. Come on, push it, push it. You've come so far. Last one. And relax. Nice one, guys. Good job, good job. I'm so proud of each one of you for completing this workout. I hope you can feel the pump in your upper body. You can feel your chest. You can feel your shoulders. You can feel your triceps. Feeling the pump. 
Nice, lovely. So that's it for today's workout video, guys. I'm so proud of each one of you for following this workout right till the end. Give yourself a big pat on your back. And if you like this workout video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you can stay up to date with more such workout videos that I'm going to bring your way on the HRX YouTube channel. If you found this workout to be challenging, make sure you share it with your friend as well. The workout equipments that I've used in today's workout are from HRX. You can find the link for it in the description of this video. So that's it for today's video, guys. My name is Mithen Kakaya. You can find me on Instagram. My ID is at Mithen Kakaya. And that's all for today. I will see you in my next video. Until then, stay strong, stay safe and keep going.